Why, hi there, I'm Ron Jacket, and this is Retro Sports Network, and we're going to do another educational video today. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use custom fields in action PC football, because Elon, from Elon's Fictional Sports Universe, asked for it, and he asked for it very nicely, and it does enhance your experience in actually playing, so I'll get to that in just one moment. We start here. If you've never been to this site before, www.sportsreplace.net, you're missing something. Pretty much anything you want to download as far as an add-on for whatever your favorite sports replay game is can be found here. If not, you can always ask and they can either add it or someone else knows how to get it. So we start here. We go to Downloads. Now my mouse is off because I'm using because of the football game open in the back and that's how you're able to see this web page. And so we go for Action PC Football, which is three. Hit the three, and you get a bunch of bunch of stuff that pops up on the screen. I mean, a bunch of stuff. So we go down. Action PC. Oh, it was updated in June. Okay, so here is. I've already clicked the link and have it installed. Tom Stewart's NFL Fields 1970 to 2017. That's the easiest one if you want to play any season pretty much in the last 40 some odd years. Okay, so you click that, it downloads to your computer, and when you on it when you got it, oh good, there's no porn sitting right here for you. Uh, that's always a good sign. And so when you get it, you go to your downloads. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to. So I'll simulate what I would do. Come on, working on it. Uh, not unis. NFL fields. Okay. It has a folder to extract it, extract all, goes into your DK Sports data, football, and stadiums, NFL fields, already there, no okay. Into stadiums. That's where I'm going to put them. All right. In a moment, I'll show you what happens on the other side. I have them in list form. It's just easier that way for me to be able to play with. You can see how they have them listed. The vertical fields are there. I do the. I think that the horizontal fields. You'll notice that they're all an era. So let's say if I wanted to see the. Miami field from what they have from 76 to 83. I open that and that's what it supposedly looks like. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. There's the turf one. So, if you want, so, so let's see, these are Dolphins fields. They're not really quite accurate, but look, someone went through all the work to do them, and so it's not a complaint. There's the one with a different dolphin from 74 to 75. This one that went to grass in 76. This kind of takes you through the first couple of years at Joe Robbie Stadium. Another look from the late from the 90s. Then the lat from 97 to 2007. 2008 to 2012. 2013 when they changed the logo to Shamu. And the last couple of years. Okay, so pretty much that's what you're going to get for one particular team. Okay, so they're all there. Um, Kansas City, for instance. Depending on the year. So all the fields are there. Now, how do you get them in the game? Okay, well... 
the key thing is that everything here has to be under 30 characters or else the game won't recognize it. So that's why you don't see any team names or if you do they're shortened. For instance LA Rams that's how you want it to show up okay. You go into the game. I'll pick another season because I have all these here. What have I got? Uh, 2014. So, have I started this one? Oh, I had. Let's say I want to install... I want to play the Giants and the Redskins. So, I've got my fields. I'm going to organize. I'm going to team graphics. And I click the Giants. I got the logo. I'm going to go into horizontal fields. Now, you're seeing there's no fields there because I used another field and it's no longer there from an old computer. And it says it right there. File names are limited to 30 characters, okay? So I scroll down to And New York G's. Am I in 2014? I click on the field. Boom. Now, if you use the generic fields, you can get a rain field. But whoever created these, it's, these are, it's just a piece of art to have any of these created. I don't really care if my field looks worn for rain. But it's the same process. Also, snow. Use field. So if I play a Giants game from this year, I have all three fields in there. You don't obviously need a snow field if you're playing in a dome or even a rain field. Or a southern team. You don't, Miami is never going to have a snow field. But if I've done these right, my New York teams are up, my New York Jets are, the Giants are all set. So if any game I play in the 2014 is going to use that for a field. Okay, it's under 30 characters. It tells you what year the field was being used for, so you can match it up with the seasons. So let me just start an exhibition game. Okay, voila, it's all set. Field is for playing. I had the Giants logo because I'd done it anyway. It's the same thing for all the other sports as far as if you've done them, if you change the team names and logos for one, you've done them for all. And on that page, I showed you at the beginning, um, it also has all the logos and stuff and uniforms. So you can decorate it any way you want. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's not that difficult to do. But remember, the file names, the picture names for the actual custom-made fields has to be under 30 characters or else the game won't recognize it. It would throw you to a default field. I believe in this case it would throw you... Excuse me, into a default sneeze or plastic field. The turf fields, the grass... So, so if you're looking for something shiny and pretty like that, that's how you do it. So download them they go into your dk one more unzip them into your dk sports data folder if it's in another folder in there just take it out, cut them out of the folder that they're in and paste them into the, the regular folder excuse me goodness gracious must have paid the cat earlier and they're right there 
And as I said, you go into the team graphics portion of whatever season you want. You find the matching field with the picture. And you do it up to three times depending on what part of the country that they're, that they're playing in. Or if they're in a dome. Like for the Lions, for instance, you only need to put in the one field. It's never going to rain in the dome and it's never going to snow in the dome. But for the rest of it, you know, you want to go. Every, every outdoor team would at least get a rain field. Or else it'll default to like you're playing in a fog. Um, in areas that possibly get snow. Um, even down to Dallas, I would think, because that's not always a dome if you're playing currently. Atlanta, before they moved to the Georgia Dome, so even Atlanta in the 80s, you could get some snow. Um, you just do it for what's reasonable. Obviously, for Los Angeles, any Los Angeles team, you're never going to do that. And it looks, you know, someone took the time to make all these. These are very nice-looking fields. And, oh, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. And it does give a general better appearance for when you're playing the game. It you know, you want to immerse yourself into feeling like you're playing a home game at whatever stadium. For those of us who stream, uh, it certainly makes a difference. And even if you don't stream, look, if you want to play your favorite team, let's say your favorite team is the New Orleans Saints and you want to do that, it just gives you the feeling that you're playing at the Superdome. I mean, that, that's why we play all these, is to, to help with them, immerse yourself in with the imagination. So... Hopefully you understood all that, and if you have any questions, you know, go back and rewind um, or ask in the comments, and I can help clarify further. But the key is, the big key is, whatever pictures you find for the field, they need to be under th 30 characters or under in the file. If you use the ones that were made for a second and 10 that automatically go into that file, a lot of those fields are over 30 characters. Some of them will work for here. It'll certainly work, for, but, but it was made to work for second and 10 and not action PC football. All right. All right. Thanks for the suggestion, Elin. If you, there's anything else that you guys want to see how to set up or do, uh, let me know and I'll get out an educational video for you too. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because without that, YouTube buries you next to the ones who are me who were making dog poop sandwiches and all that. I'm Ron Juckett for Retro Sports Network. I'll talk to you the next time.